What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Showtime is the Pikachu. Wait, no, that's not right. It's actually the Blaziken. Back with Pokemon Black 2 Egglock. And quick team recap. Lightning the Lantern at level 45, pulling on a deep sea tooth with Shockwave, Surf, Signal Beam, and Thunder Wave. Turquoise the Shiny Gigalith at level 45, pulling on to the Rock Incense, Rockin'. Smackdown, Heavy Slam, Magnitude, and Strength. Kiwi! The Tropius at level 45. Rock and Leaf, Blade Fly, Dragon Dance, and Body Slam. Not holding anything. I really need to get another berry on it. Jiraiya, the Seismitoad at level 45. Wearing the Choice Specs. With Water Pulse, Earth Power, Surf, and Mud Bomb. My girl! My Digi- Wait, no. No, not- Well, I mean yes, but no. Anyway, the Blaziken, L45, holding on to the leftovers with Blaze Kick, Peck, Double Kick, and Night Slash. And new member to the team, newer than Blaziken even, Casper, the friendly Gengar, at level 45, holding on to the spell tag, rocking Dark Pulse, Clear Smog, Ice Punch, and Shadow Ball, since this thing has a modest nature, and, well, I, it, it's my main purpose for bringing it was the Ice Type move, not realizing that. It's a modest nature first, but y you know what? It doesn't matter. It has a nice tight move. So worst case scenario with a dragon, I send it out and punch it in the face. All right, we good? After I get myself caught up there. All right. Oh God, what? What, Hugh? What the fuck do you want? Oh God, these people. I should turn my volume down a little bit. An ambipalm and a Stantler, well, now, normally I would go out to a fighting type, but you know what, instead I think I'll just hit y'all both with a... Why you gotta hit so hard? So do I heal or do I swap? No, because I, obviously that Stantler has Zen Head, but it literally just used it, so I can't very well... You know, swap out and hope for the best. Uh, Not to waste any of my big healing items, I'll just use Eliminate, because I should be able to live whatever other hits come. Good, Samurai took care of the Ambipom. There's the Zen Headbutt that we know this thing has. That's a Miss Magius, that's kind of dangerous, so we'll send out... Ooh, what do we send out? Should we just stay in? I guess we'll stay in. Worst case scenario, this thing has energy ball, which would not be too good for us. But it already loses half health to the Aqua Jet. So the Shockwave can very... Uh, Shockwave did not take it out, but that is fine, because sure, the Aqua Jet will more than likely... Yup, take out the Miss Magius, as I thought. There's a headbutt that would have been very dangerous if I had sent Blaziken in. Taking a, a a little bit of HP, not a lot, but just just a little bit, and that is the coal lava, which is obviously gonna go down with no issues at all. Why would you use the fighting type move instead of the water type? Move? Whatever. Ugh, this is why he was stupid. Like he did a lot of good stuff in that fight, but in the end, he proved he wasn't the sharpest bulb in the happy meal. No, let, let's give my girl some exposure. Hmm. This is a new row, is it not? I believe it is. There are probably hidden items here. Hmm. 
No? Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll fight these trainers first. Well, that's a no-brainer. Oh, wait, Pan's here. I thought... Oh, I thought I said Sage. Whatever, no problem. We're just gonna kick this monkey in the face, and then it is dead. No issues, no problem. Um. Oh, item. A genius wing. Oh, and there's another item. Okay, you know what? do 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 Zoroark. Really? Sending out Zoroark first? That's different. It's also dead. Oh, it's your only Pokemon. No wonder you sent it out first. Muscle Band. Uh, is that basically like the Wise Glasses, or is that like the Mako Brace? Ooh, that would be honestly kind of tempted to put on Blaze again. Maybe when we go into the gym. Oh, that, hmm. I don't know. Oh, hey, look, a double battle. Good, that was a one shot. The crit might have mattered. Bug Bite does nothing, so the Smackdown. To live the smacketh down! <clears throat> we'll take out that uh, Whirlbeat. Alright, alright, alright. Um. So, do we. I mean, obviously, we haven't gotten our encounter here yet. Should we just. I guess we'll just do that. Heracross! What up? Yeah, that did nothing. But maybe we can keep doing it until it confuses him. One more? That's a wild death, so you know my you know my logic about that. I don't count wild deaths. Like that it'd be dumb to do that. Like, if you want to state a case in the comment section about why I should count the Wild Death, sure, but personally, they're just... It, it, wild Deaths are just so dumb. Especially because that was a crit. Like, you've seen me accept the legit deaths that happen in this playthrough, so... You know I bullshit everything, I just bullshit the dumb shit. Which, that, that, that was really fucking dumb. Where did that mon go? What the fuck did I just catch? It was the Heracross. It was a what, level 31 Heracross? Uh, where do I have the least amount of stuff taken from? Seven. Seven. Eight? No, seven. Oh, no, it is eight, because I took a one or two from the end. Oh. 
Lily. Lily will be who we uh, swap out for this here level 36 Hero Cross. You know, Tratini? Not bad. If we ever lose Tropius, it would actually be the perfect thing to replace it with. Uh, we're past the point where Dragon Rage is of any use, really. Except for weakening mons to catch them, but yeah. Oh, did I change the thing where it changes when mons evolve? Because I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't evolve normally till 40 something. Whatever. What TM is that you have, good sir? 82. TM 82 would be... Not, well, something I already had, so... Guess it doesn't matter. More to the fact because the TMs are randomized. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool to pick up at some point in the future if I ever need something else. Ah. Oh, I, w I won't bother to go back and get that uh, encounter now. I'll get it, get it in the next town I arrive at, which is apparently this. Wait, is this a town? No, it's a bridge. I don't think there's a Pokemon Center. There is a place to heal right there, but it is, there's no center. Alright, and there's the guy up here who wants to challenge us for his 100th win or whatever, and then we whoop him, and he's all like, oh... I forgot how much, like, in-between stuff from Skyla, Skyla? Skyla and the next gym is. There's a, there's a lot. Oh, wow, that did, like, nothing. But I'm, like, 90% sure this thing gets an Ice-type move as well as Signal Beam, so... Switching into Tropius would not be the best move. Ignore the fact that I think I just kind of poofed right through her. God, how doom I got these feet. Stardust. I like that, uh, one Yu-Gi-Oh card, Stardust Dragon. Lollipop! Which, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, we are going to be going back to that series at some point. No, I did not buy the new game yet, but 
At some point I will buy that as well, but for now we haven't completed the older one. So. Oh, two fossil encounter. Is it broken that we're using all these fossils? Because, like, I can stop, but... Like... I don't know, I, I think it is kind of cool how we can... Anyway, that's... We can get an encounter here? Or should we just count the fossil as the encounter? So, I, I, I guess I won't bother to actually get the other encounter I could get. Instead, I'll be more fair and... Is this person that yells at us? Yes. I forgot how Maker let us stay, but it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, look, more grass and another item. Well, here's the thing. If we run into an encounter, that's when I'll make the decision if I want to... Like, I'll still try and catch it if I actually run into an encounter. And then you guys can let me know. If I'm, like, abusing the fossil encounters. Because it's not like I'm leveling them up to 20 like they would normally be if I was able to actually cash in the fossils. So, I mean, it's not really that unfair, I think. Maybe, but... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, great and wonderful. So, this is four kinds of problems right now. So, first we're going to switch out of this thing and go into... Jiraiya. Like, we're, we're just literally going to switch around everything. I hate these triple battles. I've lost a Pokemon in every single one of these triple battles so far, I believe. Okay, that still did a decent amount of damage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, all of that is not good. Oh. Thank you for dying. That's at least one good thing. And thank you for dying. Okay. Now I feel more comfortable that we can do that we can win this without much trouble. Right, first we do that and heal. Oh wait, actually I don't even need to waste a full fucking hyper potion. Stop doing that. I can just use that. And you know what? I think on the same instance I'm gonna use Gengar to heal Lantern. Then I'll kill the Deerling with Lantern. For that exact reason. Hoy vey. And let me ask, the other one's gonna be a rotation battle? I think in rotation battles are definitely easier. Oh no, it's a fucking triple battle as well. Oh. Well, okay. I'm good with leaving Tropius in. I'm not so good with leaving these other two in. So we're gonna switch to 
you switch to you and leaf blade the no wait why didn't I leaf blade the Golark? What am I doing? I guess it really doesn't matter. Of course it got paralyzed. And of course it got cursed. Alright. Uh first off we're gonna hit a shadow ball on that gold arc. Secondly, we're gonna go for water pulse on the nose pass to finish it off. Golark's dead. Good. He was actually the biggest problem. Nice, even got the crit off that. Boy, these fucking triple battles causing me problems. Like, every time I run into a triple battle. Like, the rotation battles are annoying, but not, you know, impossible. The fucking triple battles? Oh. Okay, well, at least you have one Pokemon that's just a Weavile. To be fair, that could have been a lot worse. Ooh, nice. Speaking of... Oh, a thousand, not hundred. My bad. And it's a dust clops, but that's also no big deal. It can't get psychic type moves, so not like it can really do anything to me, so I'm just gonna night slash this. Okay, so it just committed seppuku, like literally it just stabbed itself in the face and committed seppuku. Which is no big deal by my end, because now I can switch out and avoid getting that curse damage and just hit it with some rocks. Yeah, see, that was no problem. How we got to 999 wins in a row, I'll never know, but hey, you know. It's actually kind of funny they moved out of our way like we cared, but... Fuck it. Yeah, leave in the comment description, or comment description, <laughs> comment section down below if you think I should go back and get a real encounter in this area, or just leave it to the fossil that I was able to pick up. Speaking of new areas, this is definitely a new area. Why it used Signal Beam against a fire type, I don't know. Tropius made more sense, but Tropius apparently also doesn't give a shit. That did more than the Signal Beam. Uh, the Crobat. Well, we got Turquoise up in here for this. Hit this bat with a smack down. I thought there was an item over there. Oh, well, guess this is our encounter. It's a sub light bar. Uh, 
Switch out to lightning. Hit that thunder wave. See how much a signal beam does. It does like nothing, but that's... Oh, that's poopy. Oh, well, we're gonna go out into... Wait, why am I doing this? I've had night slashes. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess we just chuck balls at it because we can't really damage it. That would have been hilarious, honestly. Okay, fine. You want me to hurt you? I guess I'll try and hurt you. How much will Heavy Slam do? You're, you resist it because you're a poison type. Or I kill it. Whatever. We have a good team as it is, so I guess it really doesn't fucking matter. Better than our team actually ending up dead due to wild Pokemon. Because if we get whited out, I can't really make an excuse against a you know, wild Pokemon, but most of the time I can make an excuse about it. That, you see... Good thing I didn't go with the instinct to send in what's a fuck, but. Because Earthquake really would have hurt Lightning. Yup, fuck it. I don't even care. What's it gonna do to me? It's your choice specs improved surf. Like, what's it gonna do to me? Uh. It. it really? Another wild, another legendary Pokemon is just gonna hand itself to us. I mean, sure. Let me heal up Lightning and try and catch this bad boy. How many Ultra Balls do I have? Should I like? Should, should I go back and buy some balls? I mean, I do have the Master Ball still, but obviously that would be the least preferred way of going about things. I have 15 of those left. Can I go buy you? I can. I'm going to come back to you in a minute here. Let me... Yeah, shut up. Shut up, Iris. Let me go buy some Pokeballs. I just wasted my potion trying to heal up lightning, but whatever. First, what do you sell? Ooh, quick ball. I don't know how many more encounters I have, so I'll buy like five of those. Buy 15 timer ball. By 25 Ultra Ball. Alright. Alright. See, the only problem with having li lightning up front is just the fact it's a fucking grass type, but we have. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Obviously, it's not going to be a wild, a randomized encounter because the, wi the wild Pokemon aren't randomized, but. Ooh. See, at least Gengar is like isn't even affected by two of its moves and resists a possible third. So as long as it doesn't have a dark type move, I should be fine. Ice Punch it resists. Like it's neutral and my fight my physical attack is really low, so let's start with using these great balls.
I don't know how much lower I can get it is the problem. I actually caught it in the great ball! Bruh! Bruh! Okay, hopefully I don't fuck up this encounter like I did with the other one. And give it to a fuck- You know, I'm actually gonna hunt for what I wanna trade in for- Trade that in for. And that'll actually be a good spot to end off the episode, too. I already failed my encounter here, so can you go away? Another Sooth Bell, that ain't bad. Uh, okay, I can start. Okay. That's good. Ooh, a Soul Dew! Do I can't have Latios or Latios? Can I sell that? So if I can sell that shit, then... What do I like the sound of the best? <laughs> ah, sorry, I just kind of burped up my Chinese from earlier and that did not taste great. What could Majin Buu be? I feel like it's a slow poke evolution, a slow poke, but I'm not sure if that's accurate. Ooh, is Fancy a Togepi? That'd be cool. You know what? I know 100% what this is, unless you went for a weird change. So in case we lose the Gengar, I'm grabbing this, because obviously it's something that's going to have an Ice-type move. You know, like a certain bird that we got shiny near the beginning of our uh, Sword and Shield thing. Welcome to the squad. Well, not welcome to the squad, but welcome to the existence, Santa. Because who knows, maybe sometime when I send in Gengar against a dragon, it actually ends up dying because it's not good enough. And then I have to find a replacement ice type. What better ice replacement ice type than this thing? Because I imagine you gave it egg moves for ice punch or whatever. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Good thing is, I don't think this thing even learns anything new. Up until like 6th or 7th gen, it doesn't actually have a moveset. It just has present and that's it. Unless it just never gets anything. I don't know, this isn't a Pokemon I actually invest a lot of time in, other than when I was shiny hunting it. To which I eventually got. Obviously. You know, you can look back on that clip and, you know, check that out. I might actually get in the end of the episode just since, since I brought it up. Okay. Oh, well, since you didn't learn anything new. Aurora be my shark. Nice. Nice. And you're actually quite the mixed attacker, aren't you? So, yeah. When I lose Gengar, this is definitely the, th the thing I'm gonna... Wow, they're actually... Should I... Should I just keep this thing on my team? Because they're the same level. I don't necessarily need a ghost type. I have dark type moves on at least Blaziken. And I have bug for the psychic types that I can't send Blaziken. 
you know what? Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna we're actually gonna keep the Delibird on our team. I know that's weird, but yeah, like it's already of level, and I needed and I, the only reason I pulled Gengar was to have an Ice type. So yeah, I, I guess that layout change is gonna happen for the next episode. So. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, like Facebook, follow Twitter, Twitch, because I stream and upload every single day. And until next time, it's been the Blaze Again. King. Plays a king. Yeesh. I'm not the Pokemon. That's the badass that's leading my squad. Sign out. Ta-ta for now.